In my youth, I fantasized about owning my very own arcade. But is the one-up cabinet cade a dream come true? Let's take a look. What's up, nerds? If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Sebastian Smith, and this is NerdyKnickknacks.com, where I take a look at some of the best gadgets, gear, and knickknacks for your everyday nerdy life. And today, we're taking a look at the 1UP Arcade Cabinet, specifically the one I've got is the Pac-Man version. Now, my first introduction to the greater Pac-Man universe was a Ms. Pac-Man cocktail table that was at my orthodontist office. And while I hated having bracelets, I never stopped loving Pac-Man. Over the years, I've amassed a collection of Pac-Man plug-and-play units. So when I saw that 1UP Arcade was releasing a quarter-size Pac-Man arcade cabinet, I knew that I had to have one. But at $500, the price was a little steep. So when they finally released a tabletop version at half the price and half the size, I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot. The Arcade 1UP Pac-Man Countercade comes entirely pre-assembled and ready to play right out of the box. It comes pre-installed with two games, Pac-Man and Pac-Pal, and I've never personally been a big fan of Pac-Pal, so for this review we're really just going to be looking at pac-man but if you like pac-pal it's there too for you it weighs about 16 pounds stands at about 25 inches and is about 14 inches side to side and 15 inches front and back with an 8 inch color lcd screen on the control board you have an on off slider a volume slider a one player button a two player button and of course the joystick the body is made of wood, and it is made to resemble an original Pac-Man arcade machine. And on the back, all you have to do is plug it in, and it is ready to go. Let's fire it up. The sound, video quality, and controls really do a good job of replicating the experience you would get in an arcade. Minus the friends. But who needs friends when you've got pack and pal? Where this machine really thrives is in its build quality. This thing is solid and you can tell it from the moment that you start playing it really does a good job of bringing arcade quality gaming into the home like i said i've got several different pac-man plug-in plays and this blows them all out of the water but with this premium build quality does come a premium price and honestly it's the biggest downside with the one-up countercade line now, if you just want to play Pac-Man, there are cheaper ways to do it, like this. This is a uh, Pac-Man plug-and-play. You can get this from the store for about 20 bucks versus the $200 that the Countercade comes in at. The Countercade is literally 10 times more expensive than this version of Pac-Man. But you just don't get that same build quality. This is plastic and fragile, and, 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 and I've broken a couple of these. This just doesn't feel like it's going to hold up to rigorous play like this is going to hold up. Another downside to this is that it only comes with Pac-Man and Pac-Man -and Pals, and it will only ever have Pac-Man and Pac-Man -and Pals unless you decide to crack it open and hack the system. But at that point, why don't you just go ahead and get uh, a Raspberry Pi and put MAME on it? It'd be just as easy, and it honestly would save you a few bucks. And if that's what you want to do, go ahead and check out my review of this Switch Arcade Stick that works with uh, just about anything that has a Bluetooth on it. At the end of the day, what you're really paying for is an art piece. Now, this system is going to look great in any living room, man cave, she shed, home office gaming room, whatever it might be. But it's really not that practical. This is definitely a luxury item. If you're like me and you've always 
fantasized about owning your own arcade system, then the 1UP Countercade might be for you. I would definitely recommend at least taking a look at the Pac-Man 1UP Cabinet Kid. Thanks so much for watching the video today, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, go ahead and leave a dislike. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite retro arcade game, and if you plan on picking one of these up, either the Pac-Man or the Centipede or Galaga. I bought my father Galaga for Christmas, and he's played it twice. But he loves it, so, <laughs> so there's that. And I'll see you next time for another Geeky Gear review here at Nerdy Knickknacks.